So I modeled for a very long time and, you know, for like being a model and in the modeling world, they really don't like you to talk or have an opinion. It's more like stand over there and look pretty or like smile and don't smile. But I also started acting and I found so much joy, in fact, in working on fully improvised shows with oh. amazing cast. Like I was on Reno 911, which is fully improvised. By the yeah. way, if I might just plug it, <laughs> all episodes, all seasons of Reno 911 are now available on Paramount Plus. And I am in season six and season seven. Lovely. I so, love yeah. it. So you kind of like a recurring character? Uh, it's different characters, but you know, um, the producers were bringing me back from nice. season to another, and I got to do one right before the pandemic, the one that actually aired on Quibi, and now I believe will be on Paramount Plus as well. Um, yeah, so transitioning, so I, I did, for example, like I was in the Reno the movie, and I was like, I never knew until then that I could be funny. Really? Or that comedy would like become my thing. Yeah. <laughs> it sort of happened that I started getting cast as a funny foreign girl. Like I don't speak English, or I speak English with a slick accent. And um, <laughs> yeah. at some point, I just worked with so many amazingly talented comedians and improvisers that I wanted. I was so inspired to create my own content and just uh, explore comedy, and that's why I started doing stand up. At first, I just wanted to be a better writer if I yeah. wrote like little comedy skits or YouTube, whatever vlogs, I just wanted them to be funny, like legitimately funny. And that was my motivation. And um, I discovered that I had a major stage fright and I wanted to push myself on stage because I was so terrified. Like I was so terrified. Like the first probably two years I had to hold my microphone like this oh. or else my hand would be shaking like this. That's so self <laughs> <laughs> And especially, you know, I'm Latina and when I came, when I started doing comedy, I had an accent. So we become a little bit more self-conscious, right? When you mm -hmm. have an accent, because you're like, I'm going to fuck up a word. I'm going to screw up the Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That too. That yeah. too. Well, if, you know, I go on stage, like in full makeup and hair and looking like a hot chick, like people are just going to assume that I'm not funny. So... At, mm -hmm. And I started sort of feeling that judgment, like before I even opened my mouth, some already like made up their mind. So, you know, that also like motivated me to like work so much harder and write so much better and mm -hmm. just be way more prepared. Because like any dude can go up and wing it because yeah. he's a dude. And then women are judged, especially, you know, like, Foreign women, women of color, we're just judged so much more. And uh, that's why, yeah. yeah, we have to be so much more prepared and just crush it every single time. Totally. Not only because of the accent, because of the cultural differences, uh, but also for some reason, they think that we're like more, they treat us more like sex objects. I don't know if you find yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> you're really like, oh, Latina. So and you're just like, dude, yeah. I'm just a normal person. I just happen yeah. to be Argentina, whatever. Right. Yeah, like, it's not my fault that my boobs are bigger than my head. Like, honestly, <laughs> like I, I didn't buy my boobs. I was born yeah. like this. Girl. So, and yeah. I got in a habit of performing in like hoodies and sweaters. Just please don't look at me because if yeah. they start looking at you, they will stop listening. <laughs> yes, I was focusing on your boobs like for 10 uh -huh. minutes. At yep. the first 10 minutes at least, and then they're still focused and they're not going to listen because there's uh -huh. another part, another part of their brain or well, another brain that's, you know, in motion. So, so yeah, the part of my process as a comedian is to completely desexualize myself in the first few minutes. Like, wow. <laughs> I eat cat food and I'm gross. Okay. And uh, yeah, <laughs> when I know something else, <laughs> I have two male fungus. No, I'm kidding. But, you know, that's kind of like what it is. And even if people don't realize that, that's a part of the act. Because right. by the time I get to talking about Playboy and talk, talking about, you know, modeling, mm -hmm. everyone already knows I'm funny and they pay attention.